Hi, welcome to Making English Fun. Uh, we're going to be looking at how to make uh, kindergarten stories and maybe even some lessons with ChatGTP. That's the new AI, which I'm sure if you're watching this, you know about. The, it's got a lot of bad press about it being the end of education, about students cheating, about uh, teachers not, not being needed anymore, which I think was all a little bit perhaps over the top, which, you know, it's not that much of a surprise. Uh, so what we're doing is we're making a, a series of these videos on how you can actually use it in your classroom or at your desk when, uh, when you're planning lessons, when you're looking at topics to cover, or for a case of a lot of us, especially as teachers, is you can never have enough materials. And that's what this video is about. We're going to show you how to make some kindergarten stories lesson plans and to do some uh, and how chat gtp can help you with some of the activities and some of the consolidation of those stories let's jump in now first thing that we need to do is we need to give it uh, chat gtp an instruction uh, they're called prompts and we actually have a list of 100 prompts for english teachers below here they're for all English teachers, so if you're a kindergarten teacher, some of them will be suitable for you, some of them won't, but we thought it best to put them in one big list because there are so many things you could type in. This is just to get your ideas going, okay? So you can check that out below or at the end of the video if you want to. Uh, so let's give it a question, oh sorry, a task, and let's get it to, just to write a story with animals, okay? I'm only going to do it on 100 words. You can do it up to about 500 words, but as a kindergarten teacher, that's quite a long story. Uh, so I'm going to say 100, 120 words uh, with animals, and let's see what it can come up with. A story for kindergarten <clears throat> children about 100, let's do 120, 120 words with animals ah. let's see what it does now i don't know your kindergarten students um i know mine <laughs> or i know my younger students um some of the things that it will do in this is you might have to you might have to read through it so that's pretty good it's using past tense, which eh, maybe, but usually grade one has start to be introducing the tenses more so and uh, more. Maybe past tense as well, if you're native kindergarten or <clears throat> on, excuse me, Montessori or something. Um, but I know once upon a time in a lovely forest, there lived a friendly group of animals. I'm not going to read all of this. They were all best friends, Benny the Bear, Tommy the Turtle, Polly the Parrot. Once in a uh, day they decided that's a big word uh, to have a picnic by the river benny brought honey sandwiches gathered it's a big one fresh carrots tommy made a salad with lettuce and polly picked colorful berries as they munched on their treats a tiny butterfly okay so it's an okay story it's probably better for a teacher to read it than for to be given to a kindergarten so let's ask chat gtp to make it simpler now i'm going to do this two ways I haven't done this before, so I don't know what it's going to do. I'm going to ask it first to make it simpler, see what happens. Then I'm going to ask it to turn it into present tense to see if it can do that and it still be understandable. So first, can you make this simpler as simpler? Can you make this simpler? It is simpler when you read through it. I, I'm not going to read through every one. It, this video will be longer than the lesson. So um, I'll, you can pause it, have a look through, see what you think. I'm not going to print them out. You can, <laughs> this thing can make a story in 10 seconds. You do not need to use the ones that it's made here. Uh, yeah, that's pretty. I mean, if you're doing a 20 minute little reading session with some activities. That's a short story. But it still has the past tense laughed shared played helped uh helped became 
So I haven't tried this. Let's see if it can make it simpler without by putting this into the present tense. Can you put uh, into now I'm doing typos, but it will still understand, I hope, uh, what I'm what I want to make it even simpler. It has past tense is often better for stories. We know that, but yeah, I am pretty much the same, but they just changed it. Um, we don't often tell stories in the present tense. I know that, I know that, <laughs> but it was just to see if they can they can do that. Yeah, that's okay. Now, so you got you you got a story. Now you can change this. You can make it about your class. Be careful with that, of course. Uh, about your students. You can do it on a theme. Uh, one of the other videos we've got, we talk about, can you add the theme of sharing, which they did? Can you add the theme of Christmas, Easter, holiday, uh, the school sports day? Anything you want, you could get this to do. So if you're having, for example, a sports day at your school, you can put, can you write a, a story about XYZ school and the sports day? And even your name, even the teacher's name, uh, making jokes, making it fun and light. Of course, that doesn't have to be for kindergarten. That can be for any level you want. The other thing it can do, though, so you've got, you've, we've got a story. We've got something about some animals having a picnic, uh, having a nice time. Cool. Perfectly, perfectly acceptable kindergarten story. So let's get it to do some tasks for that as well. Can you write... Uh, five comprehension questions for this story and let's see what it does it will do it i know this i've done this for other things ask for the names well what do they bring to the picnic so it's asking for them to spot the food they bring and to uh, categorize that what kind of animal joins them uh, how do they feel oh, sorry how does bella the butterfly feel uh, what do the animal friends do to help Bella find her way home? Now, one thing it hasn't done is give you the answers. So can you answer these? There we go. And they'll give you the answers. Now, you don't, I mean, you don't need them, but if you wanted to put them on the back of the paper or if you're doing a workbook uh, on sharing, on picnics, on the outdoors, on animals, um, you could put these in the back of it and it's already worded now. Whether the answers are more difficult than the questions is, is a, another, <laughs> a, a, another video, uh, not this video. So we've got comprehension. Now, story, a worksheet if you cut and paste it, or uh, a classroom activity. Let's do something else. Can you think of a theme for this story? Now, I'm asking you this to think if we can put it together as part of a, a more holistic, a bigger learning experience. So I would say that they all share their food and we'd probably do sharing again. But let's see what ChatGTP says. Similar. The theme of this story is friendship and helping others. The animals come together for a picnic, showing their bond. Oh, very nice. And they... Uh, extend their friendship to Bella when she needs help. That's quite a nice thing, helping others when they need help. Um, so that could be the theme. Now you've got a little story for it. You've got a, five questions, not very much, and you have a theme. So can you think of any activities for this theme suitable for kindergarten? Friendship bracelets. I kind of like that idea, but I, I made these when I was a kid, but I think I don't think I was five, four, five years old. I think I was about 10. So whether friendship bracelets, maybe, maybe, who knows? That would take some time though. Uh, helping hands, I've done that before. Animal masks so they can role play the story. Will it do five? Oh, it's doing more. So it, uh, don't know how many it's going to do, but what we've got is friendship bracelets, helping hands, animal masks, 
story discussion, which you kind of do in the class anyway. Kindness chain, uh, I like that one too. Friendship circle, they like about their friends. This is very nice. Um, those ideas are pretty good, really. You can expand on each one by saying, can you talk more about the helping hands? Uh, the other thing you can do, and I've, I have done this actually, is you, can you create, this is for teachers of course, can you create a lesson plan? Or, I mean, let's be, let's be specific about this. For three 30 minute lessons using some of these ideas and the story. Now this is a, you don't have to follow what it says, you don't have to do that, but this is the ideas that it can give you. And this is, I, I haven't put this in, I, oh, I swear. Um, this is me just thinking, okay, let's do it live to see what it says and to see how, as a teacher, it will start me thinking. So if you're sitting there on a Monday morning, not knowing, not having any ideas, and we've all been there, it's not a judgment thing, then you can try something like this. It's not taking over your job. It's just helping you do it. Now, the, the point of the story is helping others. That's what it's doing. Uh, how, let's have a quick look at it. I, I'm not going to read through. Again, you can pause, go through as you wish, or you can even try it yourself. Lesson one, storytelling, good way to start. Printed or digital copy. Sit in a story. To, well, this is, if you're going to do university level lesson plan, you need a little bit more than this. But if you're going to uh, do it for your own notes, then this, this works. Read the story. Group discussion, 10 minutes for kindergarten might be pushing it a little bit. Uh, conclusion. So a whole lesson on storytelling. I would not do that, but it gives you some ideas. Animal masks and role play, I would definitely do that. So get students to make some masks, uh, print them out, whatever the animals were, turtle, bee, uh, colour them in, and then <clears throat> we need them to role play the, the story. That's made me think of something else, which I'll go into in a minute. Lesson three, kindness chain and friendship circle. So say what you like about your friends. I like that idea. Kindness chain, give them a little piece of paper, like the old, you know, you did this. I have, literally, oh no, I do. So you would make, if you can see this, because I'm very small in the corner, I know that. You would make it, uh, this would be, put it in half, and then you would glue it so that you had two. And the next one would go around it and it would create a chain. That was a really bad ex uh, example of that because I don't have any scissors either. But uh, they would write something nice or a nice thought on the chain and you could put it in the classroom. That's pretty good. I like that idea. Um, and then conclusion. That's three lessons. It's an hour and a half of lessons in it took chat GTP minutes. Now, not everything on here is going to work, of course. But you can, you can take some of these ideas and then work it into your classroom. That's what this is good at. It can't do your job. It's not trying to take your job. It's just going to be a, a good tool to come up with some ideas. If you use Google, which I do, to come up with stuff, this is just another way of doing it. Now, I said about the role play. Uh, you can have them read the story. You could even video it and then show it at assembly or something like that. But let's see if it can do this. Again, I have not tried this. Can you create a simple script for kindergarten children on this story? Uh, probably not. Let me, I hold on. Of course, with technology, sometimes it doesn't work. So let me try uh, a new chat and then go back. Maybe my internet decided to have a moment. There we go. Now I'll try again. If it doesn't work, then you'll see a cut in this video as I sort it out and try again in a minute. Ah. 
that one I want. Then you create a simple script. There we go. It's working. Apologies for the delay. I'm not going to cut that out because I want you to see that sometimes the world is an imperfect place and not everything works smoothly. Uh, the forest friends and the little butterfly. There's that you need six, six to do it. Narrator is a particularly long word, but I used to teach in Hong Kong and they, um, <laughs> they, they wanted our non-English speaking students to know the term narrator. Fair enough. Um, it doesn't hurt to teach them a word, but is it needed? No. Yeah, they've done this in present tense, which is quite good as well. And it's, ooh, it's quite long, isn't it? Anyway, I'm not going to do a shorter one because this video is too long now anyway. But what you can do is you can look at this and then you can decide how you want to make it shorter, make it longer. You can either do that by cutting and pasting, uh, copying this and then getting rid of stuff. Or you can just go, I am going to do it. Why am I doing it? Shouldn't be doing it. Uh, can you make this shorter? The reason I do this is I have done role plays in my classrooms before. And <laughs> even like a 10 line role play will take, can take 10 minutes. And <laughs> when you're trying to do the whole class, that's going to take some time. Uh, can you make this shorter? Uh, yeah, let's not give it a time limit. And it, it'll try and make it shorter, which I will, I will let it run through, but I won't discuss it. Um, if you actually use uh, ChatGTP3, it's because there's less people on it at the moment. This is four, I think. Um, it's almost instant. So this is typing it out, which is still pretty, oh, there we go, that is quite short. Yeah, that's pretty good. And Tommy does most of the talking and then Bella Butterfly. Huh. I suppose if you've got some students who don't like talking. Um, okay, so this is the video on how to do a kindergarten story for, well, a story for kindergartners, not a kindergarten story. But we put in a lesson plan. But in fact, not just one, we did three lesson plans. We put in activities, six of them. Um, if you want it to, it can create a hangman game for the words in the story or something along those lines. You need a little bit more technology and a little bit more typing to get that done. You probably don't need to. You can get the clues for word searches. It can do anything. So all those times, just again, to say that this is not getting rid of your jobs. All those times you've used the online crossword creator, the online word search creator, the online whatever. Uh, this can do that quicker. Uh, you don't need a subscription unless you go for the ChatGTP4. So this was the how to make kindergarten stories in ChatGTP. Hope it was useful. We have other videos, which I'm not very good at YouTube. So they'll be here or they'll be on the channel list if I haven't worked out how to do that. Apologies for the sound. I'm going to try and work that out. If it sounds OK, it worked. If it didn't, sorry, I'm, I'm a teacher, not a YouTuber. OK, check out the others. I uh, hope to see you again. Thank you very much.